So today we're going to do a review over how Thomas Jefferson altered the nation's course. And we're going to use what's called a frame. This is what the frame looks like, that the, the worksheet will give you. And the frame has acronyms. Do you guys know what an acronym is? So we have an F right here. And we just have an F because it's going to help us remember that F stands for focus on the topic. R is reveal the main ideas, A is analyze the details, M is make a big idea statement, and E is just extending our understanding of what we just read. So now I'm going to give you your own copy of it. These are your guys's. See how it looks the same as ours. So can anyone tell me anything about Thomas Jefferson from that reading you guys just did? Do you guys remember anything you just read about him? One of the first presidents? Yep, he was actually our third president and one of our founding fathers. So today we're going to fill this out. You guys have the same one. We're going to fill it out on Thomas Jefferson and how he changed our nation. All right, so we're just going to do a quick reminder of what frame stands for. So what does F stand for? Yeah. What about R? Reveal. Good job. Reveal the main ideas. A. Good job. Did you? Can you say what A stands for? What? Do you know what A stands for? Analyze details. Good job. What about M? Make a big idea statement. Good job. And the last one, E. Explain. Extend. 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 Yep. Understand. Our understanding. Good job. All right. So now we're going to start with F. Remember, F is focus on the topic. So now we have to fill out the key topic. Can you guys tell me what the key topic is? Jefferson answers the alters. Alters. Jefferson answers the alters, alters courses. The nation. The Jefferson nation. alters the nation, the nation's course. You guys see that right here? These are those are titles. So we're going to fill that in first. That part's already filled out on here. Do you guys see that, how this looks the same as yours? Yeah, now I'm just going to make it look more like yours by filling it in the same. Yep. So why Trevor's finishing writing what our key topic is, what are some of the main ideas we talked about? What were the big, bold headings that were in the book? Yep. Yeah. Nice job. So that's our first one that we'll put in this box. You guys tell me what the main idea of two was? The second one? The Jefferson President. Presidency? Presidency. Yep, oh, there you go. And that's gonna go in this box. Right here. And then our third box, what do we have? We have the United States. Explains. Expands. Expands. Uh, West. West. Yep. Expands West. Nice job. So now we have all three of our main ideas filled out. So now, what do you think was the most important about Jefferson winning the election? Under that reading section, what do you think were the big things that they wanted us to take away from this chapter? Block. Yep, yep, that can be one. So 
Yep, you yep. guys can fill it out by Trevor's argument. You guys are done writing. Look up here so you know that you're done. Are you ready? All right. So, do you think there's anything else that was important about that section? Aaron Burr. Yeah, remember he's the was the vice president that actually got the same amount of votes as Thomas Jefferson. So he was planning on being the vice president, but since he got the same votes, same amount of votes as Thomas Jefferson, they had to do a revote. So he came into the presidency race thinking that he was going to be vice president and came out of it tied so he could have ended up being the actual president of the United States. And that showed a problem in the electoral process. So they had to switch that. This was in the 1800s. Yes, we're sound up. Yeah, I think she said one more book there. All right. Now, in that, that last paragraph there, see, remember how I was just telling you about how they had to change the process for voting? because it ended up being a tie when it shouldn't have been. You guys remember what amendment that was that they had to change, that they added into? It's in our book. Right there. Oh. You read what that says? Twelfth American. Amendment. Yep. Twelfth so amendment. the Twelfth Amendment. That's going to be our next essential detail. Let's see there. Thanks. Yep, right underneath where we put the other one. And that was created so that the vice presidents and the presidents had different voting, so they didn't end up in a tie like Thomas Jefferson and Eric Bird.
Great. Tyler, can you tell us what our second essential detail is? Nice job. Yeah. So Southern dominance. That was, remember in our reading, because the people running for president were all coming out of New England area, and they just wanted to get like the more wealthy voters and the high society voters, but they weren't winning the polls because more people were moving to the more southern states, such as Virginia. So People going down there were actually winning the votes. Essential detail. What do you think our third one would be? John Marshall and the Supreme Court. Supreme Court. Yep. Yes, good job. No. Let's see where that would go, DJ? Up to what? I mean, up in the right here. Yep, that's the yeah. essential detail. So, our third box. Right yep, and our third box right mm -hmm. here. Put up in red right here. Yep. Put what right that there. says right there. Mm -hmm. In the third box in the middle. John Marshall and the Supreme Court. Tyler, can you tell us what would go in our last box then? Marbury, Harrison, and Abby. Nice job. So our next essential detail was, like Tyler said, Marbury versus Madison. So where would that go? DJ? Middle box four. Yep, there you go, yeah. good job. All right, so now we are on to our third.